Right, Terran campaign done. A second time, as if you watched the my uh, when I did the tutorial, I'll explain what happened in the first. What, what happened to my footage? Uh, the only thing I didn't have to redo was the hammer pulls because, like I said, I didn't lose that. But I cheated on it because, come on, that's way too hard. Uh, so now I'm on the Zerg campaign. Um, I hate playing a Zerg, even in StarCraft 2. I'm, I'm usually a Terran player. Um, I have dabbled with like the Protoss and the Zerg, but I absolutely hate playing as the Zerg. So this is probably going to be a long one. So let's just dive right in. Swarms crush the meager human resistance and lay waste to 9 of 13 Terran worlds. Regardless of the fall of the Terran capital world, Tossing is doing protests for the abandon the Terran sector. Now, efforts to. Ooh, that's an ultra lisk. Now, let's continue on telling us to be like the main protest forces. Among said ruins. Awaken, my child, and embrace the glory that is your birthright. Know that I am the Overmind, the eternal will of the Swarm, and that you have been created to serve me. Behold that I shall set you amongst the greatest of my celebrants, that you might benefit from their wisdom and experience. Yet your purpose is unique. While they carry forth my will to the innumerable broods, you have but one charge entrusted to your care. For I have found a creature that may yet become the greatest of my agents. Even now, it resides within a protective chrysalis, awaiting its rebirth into the swarm. You must watch over the chrysalis and ensure that no harm comes to the creature within it. Yes, floating eyeball thing. The hatchery is the heart of any Zerg colony. It spontaneously generates larva, which in turn are used to spawn your various warriors. Oh, that's really weird. Now, create a drone and start gathering resources. Spawn more overlords. <laughs> Uh, said chrysalis. Overlords provide control for your minions. As your forces grow in number, you must hatch more overlords to control them. You have enough minerals. Select a lava and mutate it into an overlord. I already have. <laughs> He's there. Create new warrior strains. Must generate the various hive structures. The drones themselves mutate into these structures. Yet be careful. Never use your last drone to make a building. Anything about the top of drone production? Mm, I need a spawning pool to do that. Now, order your drone to become a spawning pool. Uh. That structures can only implant themselves upon the creep. You can make a creep colonies to extend the creep. But only a hatchery can be built upon open ground. That's good to know. I right, need another overlord. I'm keeping on a drone production at least. Oh, he's collected that last bit. <laughs> I 
Oh, well, those moves so slow. That's probably the best place to put that. Oh well, too late. <laughs> Have a couple of sunken colonies for protection. Brief look at them. <laughs> Some colonies do so much damage. Um, okay, hydrolysis as well. Probably, uh, no, hang on. Need some overloads. No, you can't set rally point. You can't do that like you can on Starcraft 2. Well, these have now increased movement. Many zerglings. Uh.
Damn it, I can't. I can't. There we go. Uh, another one down there. Hydras? I don't know. Let's go upgrading. I don't think I've got the gas for my hydralisks. That should be good for the time being. No armor whatsoever, so come on. <laughs> Darn it, I lost the Zergling. from this way so I'm guessing they can come round this way. I'm waiting for my armor to complete. It's 
move out. Get the SUV, go on, get him. <laughs> oh, he's dead. <clears throat> Piece of cake. Fifteen minutes, that's not bad. We've got time to do another mission.